Life on Earth today is so beautiful and diverse, it is strange to think of our planet looking any different. However, if you dive into the depths of time, before you and me, before woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers, even before T-Rex and pterosaurs, you will discover an extraordinary creature dominating the seas, the trilobite. These wildly abundant animals, who made their debut 500 million years ago, ruled the prehistoric seas for over 200 million years. But what happens when an animal like the trilobite becomes so common that it has to compete with itself for food? For trilobites, the answer may lie in the specialization of feeding strategies. All trilobites have the same general body plan, a head with eyes and a stomach cavity, a body with multiple articulated segments and legs, and a tail section with fused segments. With this basic body plan, trilobites developed an astounding diversity of form and function over time to specialize in collecting and eating different kinds of food. Some trilobites took advantage of food floating in the water column. However, searching for food in the water column provides a unique problem. Food may be found in any direction, including above and below. Therefore, swimming trilobites had large eyes that could find food in three dimensions and long, hydrodynamic bodies to swim faster. Other trilobites became predators, taking advantage of larger prey on the ocean floor. Larger prey presents its own problems. It needs to be broken up before consumption. As a result, predatory trilobites had limbs with spines that acted like teeth. Unlike many animals today, these predatory trilobites handled food with the base of their limbs rather than their tips. Not all bottom-dwelling trilobites were predators. Some specialized in feeding on food particles in the sediment. The big problem these trilobites had to face was separating the edible food from the rest of the sediment. To tackle this problem, filter-feeding trilobites developed a strategy of stirring up sediment and sorting it with their limbs. The edge of the head on these trilobites extends well below the mouth to act as a filtration chamber. Sometimes, filter-feeding trilobites even had pores in their head, providing a built-in garbage disposal system for the unwanted particles. These various feeding habits allowed for multiple kinds of trilobites to live in the same place. By specializing in collection and consumption of different kinds of food, these variations in trilobite form helped reduce competition for a limited resource.